Ball of Nerds. As we just said, there's a lot of work to do. Uh, it's opened the doors, but in a very peculiar way. It opened the doors on a privacy rule. And there was never any evidence led about the perceived harms or benefits of the plant. So it, basically for the whole of August in the Pretoria High Court, we intend to thrash it out with cross-examination exa cross and with experts from uh, South Africa and around the world. It's been dubbed the trial of the plant. Yeah, the, 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 the next, the next chink in the armor basically the next the next part of the wall to fall will be the trial of the plant we've got quite an extensive international database of uh, drug policy activists that are working around the world and um, when I sent out the the email to everybody we had the most fantastic response because this has never been done anywhere in the world through the courts it's very important to note that because around the world they do it politically and they lobby their senators and their government departments and all of that. So it's all about who's most popular and uh, who gets their voices heard out there politically. Whereas in South Africa, the only thing that we really have is our justice system. Because at the moment, Parliament's in a mess. I mean, we all know that. They're not going to pay it any attention to us. But they have to pay attention to the courts. So that's why this process is very important internationally, because it's never been done before. And next week, Friday, we leave for Canada. And we're going to go and speak at a major drug policy conference. And we are also meeting a lot of our friends and associates from around the world at this conference. People from Jamaica, people from other islands in the Caribbean, Australians, people from Indonesia and um, it's very important that we all work together so that we can not be ignored as cannabis activists because lots of people think that cannabis is a done deal and it's already legal all around the world people think it's done but it's not there's still a lot of work to do and it's very important that we do this internationally I think we just have to keep doing what they've already been doing because the bottom line is nothing's really changed on the street nothing's changed the the psyche of the police haven't changed we drove from Johannesburg for two days and we have already collected busts of people that have had their doors knocked down and they've been smoking weed in the privacy of their own home and they ended up in jail for four days so what the judiciary say and what the police say are two different things and last week the the acting chief of police uh, put a directive out that said we will double down on it that cannabis is not legal we will make sure that it is it remains criminalized until the constitutional court deal with it so it's it's going to take time two three four years maybe it's not so much a contradiction it was just clickbait everybody put legalization on their headline and everybody believed the word it is the first process in the legalization process. The, 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 the Cape Town High Court had a judgment and now the Constitution has to either ratify it or say no, we don't believe that it is a constitutional right. So that is a two-year process but the state has already um, uh, appealed the judgment. So that is now going to take at least next year and then it will go to the courts after that. So we, we're talking about a number of years. So our message to all of the cannabis users in South Africa is just still be cool. 
don't believe it's uh, it's legal, don't hassle the police, and know your rights just like you should any other time. And um, if a cop arrives at your front door and they haven't got a warrant, you don't let them in, period. So I would say that the, the first thing that you should do is you should go to uh, the three of our websites, okay? So on the Dacha Couple website, there's a page called How You Can Help. First go there and go through that list and make sure that you've done everything that you can help on that list and it's all very very easy things that are not going to cost you any money then you need to know your rights as Julian said you really need to know where you stand with the law go to our website called jointheq.co.za and download our know your rights booklet and make sure that you read it and you know exactly what is going on okay so that when you are arrested, you know where to contact us, what to do, and so that it can be as, as, as smooth and as stress-free a process as, as, as possible. I think the thing is to, to absolutely arm yourself with knowledge. And there are lots of activists around South Africa. Speak to people. Make sure that you're not just picking up bits and bits of information on social media. Make sure that you really know what's going on. You've got to transcend your fear. People make terrible mistakes when they're fearful. And the cops will make you fearful. They will hassle you into a corner where they will say, look, it'll all go away if you sign this. And if you sign that, you will have a criminal record for 10 years because the only thing the cops want out of a bust is a statistic. It's the only way they can tell the, uh, the country that their war on drugs and their war on people is working. So if you get offered an admission of guilt, fine, do not take it because you are admitting you are guilty of smoking weed. And where's the victim and where's the crime? You can't be a criminal. If you come across an admission of guilt form, don't sign it. And if that means spending another few hours in jail because it's pissed the cops off, do so. You owe it to the plant. You smoke weed, you should take it on the chin. Don't be surprised if you get busted for smoking weed because you smoke weed. It's against the law. But arm yourself with knowledge and transcend your fear. It's very important that you are not alone and you are not a criminal. And know that, know your rights, and you'll be fine. You'll be fine.